great one coming today. I like the enthusiasm from Isaac in the chat. What's going on, guys? I saw JW say as well, you're awake. Uh, surprisingly, despite the amount of sleep that I've gotten in the last couple of days, um, for those of you that maybe aren't aware, we did a 24-hour stream from Friday night into Saturday night. Had an absolute blast. Uh, the highlights for that stream will be coming eventually. They take quite some time. I mean, that's a lot of, uh, of footage to go through and try to make highlights. So I'll try to, you know, make sure I take my time with that and be sure that it comes out uh, good. What's up, Mel? Bottom boy's in here as well. I want to see if the alert works. I feel like the membership renewal alerts not happen anyway. I feel like that may be the case. Well, thank you for the 17 months, bottom boy. I appreciate you. A fair bit of footage, you might say, is about a day's worth. So, somewhere in that area. Let's go, Chiefs. Dude, I watched all the playoff games over the weekend. Um, even the, the Titans Bengals while we were streaming. Actually, I didn't watch the Packers Niners because I was asleep after that, but I watched the highlights. Um, that Chiefs Bills game was nuts. And I feel kind of bad for Josh Allen because, like, they finally did it. They finally got past the Chiefs until they didn't. And then. Coin flip, Chiefs get it, Bills never get it. Kyla was very upset at the rules at that point because the Bills never got a chance. Well, if the Bills had the coin flip, they would have won. Yeah. It's not equal. You know what I mean? Yeah. They should play the full 15 minutes. I, I'm not sure what the proper thing to do is with those. By the way, Mel, thank you for the six months. Welcome back. I kind of get why it's not just like college overtime rules because you know they're all about player safety and that's a lot of extra gameplay for like you know going into the next week that they got to deal with but it does seem kind of unfortunate that your entire season can come down to a coin flip that may be the game to change the rules <laughs> i saw a post on facebook that said if the nfl had proper overtime rules and then it was like the final score Thing edited. It was like 142 to 136 final 19 overtime or something like that. It may have been that neither one of those QBs would let their team die. Not the biggest fan of that role. Doesn't feel like the best team truly won. It feels like luck. It does. And I mean, like I said, I'm not really sure what you do about that. Minus just letting them play forever. But if the best team does win after, say, four overtimes... If it, if it would come to that. They're going to be at a big disadvantage the next week because they just played two full games. So I kind of get where there has to be a limit, but I don't know that one touchdown should be it. Maybe maybe you should get the opportunity to, to match anything that the team that gets the ball first does, and then it should be sudden death. I don't know. If you watched the game, you knew whatever team won the toss is winning the game. I mean, there was 25 points in the last two minutes of regulation. It was nuts. Those offenses were just not going to get stopped. What you do is you don't let a team go the length of the field in 13 seconds. Uh, that, too, is, is a pretty good strategy. I couldn't believe that. I mean, also, nothing... I'm not trying to, you know... Talk, uh... Talk trash about the Cowboys or whatever because they were a lot closer than the Steelers were in the playoffs. But I saw a post that was like, why did the refs spot the ball faster for the Rams game where they had that Cooper Cup play? But I think he was down with 22 seconds left. How long did you sleep after the 24 hour? 14 hours I slept. It was a, one of the longest sleeps I've ever had where it was like straight through. I don't think I woke up at all in that time frame. As a thank you for the almost 12 months. Welcome back, Matt. Good to see you. Glad you're still alive as well. How was the 24 hour stream? How long did you sleep after? Yeah, about 14 hours. It was good though. Um, we had a couple of nice Call of the Wild kills, quite a few nice classic kills. Speaking of that, Kyla's out here shooting melanistic bull elk in classic. Doing things I've never done once again. If the Bills D wasn't so tired, they might have had a chance. Yeah, I mean, that could be. I'm sure they were pretty gassed. I mean, like I said, 25 points in the final two minutes is nuts. Do you have to claim every red you kill when grinding for one? I've been told that you don't. I didn't mean to have that light on that entire time. Um, 
people say that you don't need to claim them. I... I sort of feel as though that might not be exactly within the spirit of the game. That's kind of where I'm stuck. Like, I can be way more efficient if I don't go and claim them, but for one, for all you guys watching, I don't I don't know that you want to just watch me shoot things and have no idea where the shot is or how big the how big the red deer was or anything like that. That seems to be pretty lame content if I were to do it that way. And like I said, I don't think it's within the spirit of the game. Like, if it works that way right now, I don't think that's the intended you know, like, uh, result. Alright, we need to- oh boy, my hunting pressure is all out of whack. Alright, we'll start down here then. I think he means flashlight? Oh, turn torch off? Yes, I did have it on. My bad. I'm playing Minecraft. I'd much rather claim stuff. Yeah, and like, if you're- I'm not saying for anybody that's not claiming their stuff, like, you know, do your thing, I don't care. I'm just saying for the sake of content, I don't think it makes much sense to not claim stuff. Have you killed your great one? We have not. We are about 3,500 stags in, I think. I've kind of lost, lost count. This was supposed to be the day, or tomorrow really, was supposed to be the day that I usually do a red deer hunt, because for the past couple of months, basically, once a week we've done Red Deer, but because of the 24-hour stream and getting stuff ready and getting a setup to work with two microphones and all that, I basically didn't Red Deer hunt much at all last week. So I I don't have any Red Deer kills to uh, to make a video out of, so kind of getting back in and getting back into the swing of things. Our alerts just, like, I can see that my alerts are in the activity feed. Pidgey Wolf, thank you for the super chat. I've been trying to get a diamond whitetail. Any tips? Uh, probably Rancho and shooting all the bucks you can find on Rancho should uh, should be the, the best advice I could give you. Let me see if I can... Um... Oh, you know what? It might be the fact that I'm not logged in. Hold on. I need to learn how to do... Do thing... No, I am on YouTube, right? Yeah. Okay. What if I... Just use this link. It could... Oh, wait. No, that should be right. Hmm. We'll try a different link. See if that'll work. We'll even test a, uh... I don't know. He pretends super chat. That worked fine. Alright, hopefully it's gonna work now. Apologies for the, uh, lack of alert. Still trying to understand the way some of this stuff works because it should have still been the right link. What's up, Joe? Actually so confused on this conversation. Uh, football, leather, pigskin, 12. Touchdown. Game over. Did that clear it up? Were there three stags? That's two. It seemed like the one that we shot was not in the place that I remember it being, so I don't know. Just got my way to a great one so now I can start the red deer grind. I saw, like, 20 minutes ago, somebody posted a screenshot of a whitetail great one that had spawned. They hadn't shot it yet. I don't know if that happened to be you or not. How many kills are you into the grind? About 3,500. I've somewhat lost count. I forget exactly where we're at, so we'll call it 35. It may have been over. It may have been slightly under. It's really close to that, though. I will say that the Bucks played terrible. Yeah, and they still almost came back at one. I was, <laughs> I was talking to Aaron. Aaron and I are both uh, fans of AFC teams that would consistently get smoked by Brady. Uh, he's a Colts fan. I'm a Steelers fan. And when that snap went over Stafford's head, and then Cam Akers fumbled, I'm just like, th this is the football guys have gone too far. You're not allowed to win games like this. This doesn't make any sense. But Matt Stafford uh, earned his contract, I would say, at the end of that game and hit Cooper Cup for a couple of... Quick passes to win that. Try to get my first diamond. Do you have any tips? I mean, generally speaking, my tips on finding diamonds when, like, you're not after a specific species, let's say, is to hunt around water. And, like, if you're playing in single player, like, let's say, you know, you, you go to a lake and there's not a diamond there. If there's a buck or a stag or, like, like a male animal, shoot that for respawns. And, and maybe next time it will respawn as a diamond. We don't call f 
Oh, I thought you were saying flashlight. It, it torch, yeah. Torque is like a wrench thing, I thought. Uh, Ryan, thank you for the super chat. How about those chiefs? That game was nuts. Absolutely nuts. I mean, y you can't... It makes me feel better about the fact that the Steelers lost to them and gave up whatever it was, like 42 points in 11 minutes. It wasn't quite that, but it was close to it. 35, maybe? I mean, when they can get in field goal range in 13 seconds, <laughs> what do you do? The Steelers didn't have the offense to deal with that, even if they could have kept it closer. Uh, TJ Riddle, thank you as well. Is there a big Steelers-Eagles rivalry in PA? I mean, it's a rivalry when they play, but they don't play often, and to be completely honest, the reason they don't play often is that the Eagles are not that good. So, like, you've had this rivalry of uh, Josh Allen and Patrick Mahomes kind of starting. The Brady-Manning rivalry was always a thing. The reason they played every year is because the division winners in the same conference always play each other. And, like, you know, the Colts and the Patriots always won their division. The Steelers often won their division, but the Eagles weren't always winning it, so they often didn't have to play. I guess that would be an NFC thing, actually, too, but even still, like, they don't play as often as other AFC teams would. Trying to get a diamond on Te Awaroa. Any tips for that map? I mean, if you want a diamond, fallow the river and generally, like, all of the water area on the east side of the map is just loaded with fallow. The buggy bull? What's the buggy bull? Biggest buck you've gotten in real life? Um, if you want to see a picture of it, it's on my YouTube community tab. Uh, it's on my Instagram. It's in my Discord. I just shot it about a month and a half ago. It was 180 and 6 eighths inch. Uh, Non-typical... 14 point. Eagles are trash? Yeah, you tell them, bottom boy. They they didn't win that division. Linter Small? No, you. Giants have had me sad for a few years now. I saw that stat. They haven't had... They haven't been above 500 at any point in the last, like, five years. So that means they haven't won an opener, and then after they lost that opener, they've never gotten beyond like say one and one or two and two that that's just nuts do you hate the bobcats in call of the wild i think they're kind of cool i don't know had to get a lot of work done today so i got a piece out but glad to see you're alive or shit just stopping in man hopefully we'll catch you in the next stream are we planning kyla's first video it's gonna be probably shooting some kind of rare animal in classic because all she has to do is sit down for seven minutes and she gets one. You know, just so you know, that makes me feel worse. Oh my god, that is a weird looking road here. I'm gonna kill it. So like, I can... I've always had a theory that like some people just have insane spawns in classic. Uh, Jackson, thank you for the super chat, by the way. But, like, you can have insane spawns and you can do really well in single player, but when you're killing rares, like, every multiplayer server you go into, like, you, didn't you have a couple of things or something recently off a of corpse's map, too? Didn't you have something good off a of corpse's map? I thought you got something decent in multiplayer, but my, my point still remains. When you're killing cool stuff in multiplayer and not just in your own map, it starts to just make me think I'm bad at the game. Because <laughs> I only I only find good things. I guess if I find good things on your map, there's something to be said for that. You should play a stream on the day of the Super Bowl. I'm likely going to be at my parents watching that. I'm actually considering having my family here. Because, like, my brother still has not been inside my house. Even though I've lived here for, like, four months now. Uh, so maybe I can get everybody here. We have a nice little living room set up with a thick TV. We could watch Super Bowl as long as the internet cooperates. At Psycho, come help. What's up, Grayson? Uh, tactical thinking for the Super Chat. How about Joe Burrow this year? Dude, Burrow is nuts. I'm scared. As a Steeler fan, I'm very worried. I mean, not only, you know, let, let's pretend Joe Burrow doesn't exist for a second. Not only would winning the division likely require you to go past Mahomes and or Josh Allen in the playoffs, 
let alone potentially having to deal with Derrick Henry. Just winning the division for the next 15 years is going to be tough because Joe Burrow is just insane. That is the weirdest looking road here and I kind of like it. Anyway. I mean, the two games, and Aaron has a good point, it might be like the Steelers and the Ravens have just stopped on the Bengals for the last 15 years. So it was just revenge. Like They put up like a total of 160 points in the four games they played them. And then Cleveland, it wasn't that close because Cleveland didn't stomp on them for the past bunch of years. But man, they it, it wasn't close when they played. And that, that's kind of alarming. Is there no stag here? Oh, there we go. Decent stag. What's up, Sir 12? Don't stand in front of the gun. That's gun safety rule number one. Just chill before I go for an oil change? Nice. I feel like I'm probably, uh, I'm sort of about due, but my my truck also burns or leaks oil. I'm not sure which of the two, so it's kind of consistently getting an oil change, actually. Maybe it's fine. Do you have a mixed feral goat? Yeah, I actually do. Um, I don't remember if it was a 12 hour stream or the last 24. It was last year sometime. I was tracking a piebald red deer. It was a Twitch stream, like one of those long 24 or 12 hour streams. And somebody had done a weapon switch, so I was using like the recurve and I was bad with it. So if I recall correctly, I had hit this red deer already poorly and it wasn't even gonna die. So I was tracking it. It was definitely a silver level six and I got this max weight mixed feral goat track. So I said, all right, forget about the red deer. I don't care, I already screwed it up. Like it's small, it's fine. It was like the, because all all male feral goats are max weight, basically. It was it was a level three. It wasn't good. It was very small. Huh, I thought that guy might have been uneven. I like that rack as an uneven though. I'll take that as a a rare if we could get so lucky. We did kill a um, eyeballed mythical recently, so maybe. So when's the 24-hour stream highlights a mic concert releasing? Maybe I'll I'll do some concert stuff on the Flantro channel because that was uh that was more than my brain could handle. I'll probably put something in it uh, for the main one, but yeah, I I would like to think it could be a couple weeks till I get the the highlights out because it's a just a ton of stuff. I know there are just for what I was able to find probably six or seven like trophy animal highlights, and then. Like, funny moments, de definitely, uh, Timmy Neutron, that was a good one. Stuff like that, like, I, just remembering it and trying to go back through and find everything will, will take some time. Got a diamond black bear, nice. Happy birthday, Trey. Have geese been fixed? No. You know the best map for a great one? There really is no best map for a great one. Uh, you could argue that Te Alroa is the best map for a Great One Red Deer and Rancho is the best map for a Great One Whitetail simply because hunting them is easier on those maps. But that doesn't necessarily mean you'd find a Great One there quicker. Like, it really is down to luck. And here's the thing, like, I've been I've been grinding Red Deer and Quattro for 3,500 stag kills. Uh, you know, it's it's been, been a long time. I may have a Great One sitting on my Hirschfelder map for all I know. But, like, I'm just determined to find one here first. So, you know, you can have your, your best map based on how easy the animals are to hunt. But that doesn't mean that your great one's not going to show up easier elsewhere. You just got to pick whatever map you, that you're wanting to hunt. And I would say stick with it. I said king something, even though I said because I'm dumb. What's up, Minty? Opinions on new dogs and new maps. I think new dogs would be... I don't know that we're about due yet because it hasn't even been a year of Bloodhounds, but I would generally say they'd be welcomed by the community because minus the fact that they sometimes got get in the way, like they've they fixed the, the issue where they would push you when you're trying to shoot, they are useful in their own circumstances. Like I think the Bloodhounds went over pretty well. You've got people that are just like, nah, they're completely useless, like, okay, fine, but sometimes they actually can track tracks that aren't there. Um, retrievers I think would be good though. We have probably like 15 species that retrievers could potentially help with from quail to the like six different variations of rabbits to all the ducks and geese. I think that would be a, a good move for them. This is weird. 
and kind of alarming. Okay, so what could have happened, because my marker's a bit off, I'm going to say that we weren't close enough and we have to try that again. I think the red deer hadn't spawned. Got a piebald gator, nice. Do you know if elephants are coming to the game with a new teaser? That That is completely false information. Um, no. <laughs> that, that teaser was, I don't even think it was called a wild, and it's also two years old. It's, um, it's not something that I would even spend any time on. I think we need a Trophy Lodge revamp. Was it in the Trophy Lodge tour? I don't remember where I talked about that, but... You know, um, Saseka so Safari was like two years ago plus at this point. I just think something with that basic floor layout and then maybe a second story, like just you get more species with every map. You get more multi mounts and trophy poses. The raccoons are a great example of that with all the new poses. Like, I just think it's probably time that we start to. At least, well, okay, I shouldn't say we, because obviously we're not doing it. It's probably time that the devs maybe start to work on a bigger lodge. I don't know, like, I understand the argument that there's, there's plenty of room in Saseka Safari, let's say, but at the same time, a lot of players have filled up their Saseka Safari pretty well after, after two plus years. I want the size of the Safari one, but a log cabin style? Same. Oh, you know what it was? It was in my wish list, right? I think that's where I said it. New map coming to the game? I wouldn't get too hyped about that until probably at least May. Generally speaking, the middle of June is when the first map of a year uh, releases. They need a moose multi-mount? I can agree with this. What map do you want to see next? Now, I know um, I just uh, shot down the, the elephant thing. I do want to see another Africa map. But the, the teaser thing that people have been referencing all throughout the community is not Call of the Wild. Holy. Okay. That's a stag. That over there was a the stag somewhere, not that one. This is a little more chaotic than it usually is. Okay. That's a bigger stag. Wherever it went. Nice little seven. Out of bullets, good. I think we got all three. That, that guy had no chance that ran right there. Not the biggest fan of this. It's like a, a aesthetic. <laughs> aesthetic, some people might say. Most of my trophies aren't from those environments and amounts seem out of place. Yeah, 100%. And um, I forget, again, like where I mentioned this, but it's been on my mind recently. Just could we please get the addition of... A customizable terrain for the full body mounts like it makes no sense to have you know the Afriki Afriki Africa um, foliage and stuff on the on the bottom of those platforms when you know a gator should have water a red deer should have you know whatever kind of grasses and stuff this is maybe even like the corn stalks from from Hirsch it just the amount of additional customization that you can get with very simple stuff, I think is, is huge. You could, so a lot of people have asked me to do, you know, multiple lodges, like say do a North America lodge and a, call it exotic lodge. The issue is like, because I can't customize the terrain, I can't do as much with that as, as I would like. Imagine like in one lodge, one part of the lodge could be snowy maps. Give me, like, some snowy terrain platforms from Yukon and Medved. One part could be sort of desert-ish from Verhanga. One part could be, I don't know, like, uh, temperate. Like, there, there's a lot you could do with that, and I really hope we see that at some point in the future. You hate my mouse? Why? Oh. I was wondering what the heck that had to do with... Yeah, I don't insult my mouse very much, so he doesn't have to worry about being sensitive. <laughs> I had no chance. Why do you use the old M1 and not the red one? 
Honestly, I used the red one a lot and I just wanted to change it up. Why does nobody grind on parquet? I believe the simple answer to that- Oh, I didn't hit that one very good. I had the vertebrae. Anyway, I believe the simple answer to that question is... Pumas? Um, so when you hunt on Quattro, I understand the wolves can be an issue, but wolves are resting by uh, 7 o'clock, and they're, they're feeding from, I think it's 3 a.m. to 7 or something like that. So you don't have wolves just, like, actively drinking right by the water's edge where the red deer are going to be. Pumas drink 6 to 9 on parquet, and red deer drink 5 to 9. So you're inevitably going to get a bunch of pumas that are sending your red deer running maybe before you get a shot at them, and that that's just going to slow you down significantly. I think that's what it comes down to. What playlist do you use? For music, like for the stream, um, it's music from Epidemic Sound. I kind of put it all together myself, and I've also, like, it's one big long, uh, we'll call it audio file of a bunch of songs that I've put together, and I've kind of overlaid them so that there's no, like, long gap of no music. But, uh... The plan is, especially since Kyla went through and found a bunch of good songs for the 24-hour stream, hopefully in the next week or so, if I have time, I'm going to add to the YouTube stream uh, playlist and make a new one. Need to add the new songs. I don't know. I'm going to have to see if I can make it shuffle, because I don't know what OBS audio sources are capable of. I... Especially for YouTube streams, because there's so much going on, I like to not have to worry about the music. It just, like, it plays by itself. I, I don't hear the music you guys are hearing right now. So if I can make it shuffle, that would be good. Um, if not, I'm just going to make it a two-hour playlist, and maybe I'll make multiple playlists and do different ones on different days. Do I smell like grapes? Yeah. All the time. No. I think you should say grape question. <laughs> Don't encourage him. <laughs> got a 305 scoring moose? That's got to be about as big as they can get. There's a good one. Your opinion of waterfowl in Call of the Wild. Um, they drastically need to be changed, and uh, they've been promising a waterfowl reword at some point this year, and I'm really hoping that can be a difference maker, because we, we hunted ducks during the 24-hour stream in Classic. Um, there was a moment during that stream. Oh, didn't even kill him. Man, that's rough. Hold on. Turn back, don't die. Don't know if that's a long or not. Anyway, there was a moment during that stream where we had like maybe eight ducks coming in and we had called them into the blinds and they were circling back around and like the shot pattern of all the different hunters we had was very similar to what you see in real life and it just made me realize how much Call of the Wild is missing stuff like that. So hopefully that rework is going to make it a lot more realistic. If you've never seen it, um, somebody asked me to do a waterfowl hunt in Classic in the comments sometime recently, and my goal is to do one fairly soon-ish. Like, I'm hoping that maybe the waterfowl rework can get announced for Call of the Wild, but if it doesn't in the next, say, three weeks or something, I might do one and be like, this is what I'm hoping for. Just to kind of show it. The hanging head is such a pitiful look. And I really, really go far to make sure you know that that one's wounded. Did I watch the Chiefs game? I watched every snap, minus the fact that there was probably a couple around halftime. Hello. What are you doing? Ah! Almost got dead. Anyway, a couple around halftime when I was uh, getting laundry taken care of to... Uh, get caught up from when the washer wasn't working for like two weeks, but that was a great game. Not even watching the stream. I know. All caps. I wonder if you can add a... Doesn't Nightbot take all caps, or is it like only... Oh, okay. What graphics do you use? Like as far as settings? I'm running, sort of smoked, uh, I'm running on the ultra preset. I, I don't even bother taking away like the motion blur stuff. I Here's the way I look at it. The devs wanted the game to look a certain way and 
I have no issue with the way it looked like. I know a lot of people used to turn off heat haze and motion blur. It was made like they they spent the time to make it, so I'm going to use it. That's, that's the way I look at it. It might not even be a, a super logical stance, but, yeah, you know, I like it. What's up, Elijah? Have I missed anything? Nothing special in terms of stag kills, anyway. What kind of truck do you have? Right now, a uh, snow-covered truck. Getting all kinds of snow. It's a 06 F-150. Motion blur is big bad. That's because you're probably drunk half the time and you can't keep up with the, the blur. Huh? I thought you said true. Won a Buffalo to win last night? I kind of did too. I, I believe the Chiefs were favored in the game. I could be wrong. Uh, but even if they weren't favored, I generally would say that, you know, they're, they're still... Buffalo would have been the underdog because the Chiefs have been the team that they can't get past in the postseason. I... When I don't have a dog in the fight, like, you know, I'm a Steeler fan, so whoever one of whichever one of those teams wins, you know, whatever. I tend to root for the underdog, and therefore I was kind of rooting for the Bills. I did predict the Chiefs would win, so in that way I was kind of like, you know, rooting for myself to be right, I guess. But, yeah, I wanted Buffalo to win, too. Any member can use an emote I ain't special? Or well, you are special, but not for emotes. What? I can't talk about my special best friend. <laughs> oh goodness. Smoked. Where's the best spot for Colorado Packery? Alright. So if you look at the map on Rancho, there is this really tiny lake in a crater on the west side of the map. Go there during their drink time. It's like uh, midnight to 3 a.m. There are going to be so many peccary in there that you're not going to know what to do. You got to find a boy. Huh? Peccary? Did you just want to say that? Yeah. So you asked me to repeat it? Yeah. Let's see. Thanks. Anytime. Here to, here to please, you know? That I'm here to please, you know? What the? Where did all these stags come from? I'm getting ready to fast travel. There's three out here? I need the 300 is what I need. Duh. Ah. 300 won't shoot through a tree, I don't think. Okay. Feel good about that, kind of. And, alright. What we're going to do is fast travel the tent. How many diamonds do you have? I don't know the current total. We can take a look here in a second. Um, if I can figure out. I hear the... Oh, they're still coming. Okay. There's a stag taking a bath. That's fine. Naturally, this one we already shot, but what do you do? Hello. What state are you from? I'm from Pennsylvania. Alright, no hunting pressure. Did, did real good there. Shoot the stags? Need a, a bigger gun to shoot the stags. Okay, now two, two or all three died? I don't know. Maybe Sir 12 can help me out. He needs a bath? He was trying to wash off the blood so I wouldn't know it was him. It was a sneaky maneuver, but I caught on. How do you get that outfit on your character? If you log into Apex Connect or like creator account or whatever, uh, you have access to three different ghillie suits. One is the woodland camo or something which is one i'm wearing there's a tundra one and like a desert grass one they all look really good i like them hypothetically if you found a great one would you keep the stream up or end it for the vid i'd keep the stream up um i for a couple of reasons that i can't fully explain because i'm kind of keeping the way that i'm going to attempt to shoot the great one a secret and by the way it's not some incredible thing i just don't think it's been done yet at least not the exact thing that i want to do what why are you coughing okay not sure i don't know what you're coughing about 
I really don't. Alright. A job? Do I have a job? <laughs> no. <laughs> this is my job. It's been my. Ooh, that looked thick. Alright, just seven. Never mind. It's been my job since January of 2018, so four plus years where it's been my only job. I've been making YouTube videos since uh, May of 2015. Um, technically, I made some videos in September 2014, but I didn't really stick with it back then, so I consider the, the May, May 12, 2015 to be when I really started. This hinting at a new shoes method is the main reason I want to see you find one. It really is nothing wild. It's the um, the way in which I want to use a weapon that I'm sure has already been used. And no, it's not like a 200 meter shot or anything crazy. I'm not doing anything stupid risky either. Well, I guess there's there's a chance it could end up risky depending on the exact scenario, but we'll have to see on that. One. Excuse you? Who would do that? Huh? What? 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 I definitely have been known to make a bad shot or two. Don't watch my shooting on this stream and you can believe that. You're such a tease. I'm not even trying to. I'm just doing my best to not tell you what it is. No scope with a handgun? No, that's been done. No scope with a bow has been done, in fact. Which, uh, I could never. There's a random angle associated with hip shots, and obviously you can't control that. There is, and I don't know if it's just for bows or if it's for all weapons, but there is a, um, a perk, I think, that reduces how large that angle can be. I just don't think I'm willing to let hundreds of hours of grind go into a random number generator at the end of the day. Can you grind for two different deer at the same time? Yeah. Um, on Silver Ridge Peaks, it's not two different deer, but I have been grinding for a Melanistic Mountain Goat and a Diamond Blackfur type Black Bear. Now, I was fortunate enough to get the Melanistic Mountain Goat in multiplayer, so my grind has been reduced to just the black bear at this point, but yeah, all you gotta do is, uh, you know, you, you pick the two different, um, two different, like, drink times or, or times that you're gonna hunt them in, and hunt them both. Where did the fur outfit go? What fur outfit? What are these reactions on the Discord post today? Oh yeah, diamond count? Somebody did ask that. Uh, 854. Um, the number says 1154. The game was mistakenly counting gold as diamonds for about a month, but fortunately, uh, I caught onto that pretty quick and kept track of what it should have been. What happened to the Rancho Great One grind? Simply, the Red Deer is the new thing, and I want one of those. I have a Whitetail Great One, so. OG. <laughs> the OG Geo should change the video title to that, but it does so well that I don't want to mess with anything. Anyway, um, I am going to get back to that. I do intend to get a second Great One Whitetail um, on that map. I just want to get the Great One Red Deer because it's new. What do you think about Must Deer? I think they're cool. I like them. They can be a little annoying to grind. Not sure why Ben's super chat alert is not popping up. Must be YouTube being slow, but thank you for the super chat, Ben. What's going on? I assume that's, yeah, there it is. Gonna pop up uh, in chat and on screen in a moment. All right, Mr. Stag. I don't know where, I think they stop right in there, right? Right over by that bush, usually. There we go. Now turn. Do me. Listen, dude. You didn't get the script. The OG Great One multi-mount is still one of the best things I've ever seen in this game, trophy-wise. That grind, I mean, when I really think about it, it's insane to get two super rares and then obviously the Great One all in that 
1600 kill 45 day span I mean I think about 2021 and I was only able to get one super rare it was a piebald diamond fox at the very end of the year to go you know 45 days and get two super rares plus a great one is just nuts do you like Rancho better than Leighton for Whitetail? I like the environment of Leighton better, but there's no denying that there's more Whitetail on Rancho. I mean, if you want to get the most number of bucks in the shortest period of time, Rancho's the way to go. Man, I should have just shot him when I could keep him spotted. Okay. Not too sure about that first shot, but should bring him down. How many rares have you gotten from your Red Deer Grind? I think 10. I think the Mythical Piebald was rare number 10. And they're everywhere. Not that that's a bad thing, but... It's gonna be quite some time collecting Red Deer here. I don't usually shoot them at like all three points like that. Uh, Ben, thank you for the super chat as well. Had a crazy weekend, picked up a Piebald Red Fox, <laughs> Lunatic, Leucistic Pheasant, and Diamond Oak, Mule Deer, and Bighorn Sheep, dude. Heck of a weekend, so you must have been on like three or four different maps just having all kinds of good luck. That's awesome, man. I like that lunatic. Super rare is a diamond rare? Yeah. A rare animal that also makes diamond. Sometimes I should watch where animals run after they get shot. You make a good translator. I'm trying. I see it. What do you think the next great one should be? Uh, I think they should make a great one Warthog and give it Mammoth Tusks. They already have the... They already have the models for the Mammoth Tusks on Medved as collectibles. Nah, um... Mule Deer probably. I do think that we need a... Non-antlered great one. So, like, Lion or... Maybe Black Bear or something like that could, could work. Black Bear would allow you to grind potentially on three maps. Mississippi's, I almost said Spirit Ridge Peaks for some reason. Silver Ridge Peaks and Layton. Thinking of doing a soft point hunt. What day did I try to record that? I think it was going to be the video for Saturday. And literally nothing would go right. Like I couldn't even hardly get started. Like I, I was going to do multiplayer. And then I got kicked, and then like the game crashed, and I just said, you know what? Kyla suggested doing a Hall of Fame, Hall of Shame tour. I'm gonna just do that. And honestly, that was a lot of fun. I, I think I need to continue working on that. Uh, Yukon Valley Rancho and Silver Ridge. That's awesome, dude. I should also say thank you for the super chat again, by the way. I started reading uh, on to the next things. A great one, Mountain Lion, could be cool. I wondered, like, what they would do with that to make it, uh... Yeah, and then... Yeah, I'm just not sure. Like, it ha obviously, it's gonna have to be a unique fur type. I, that's really the only way to... to do something special for a great one. No antler or horns type species, but... What do you do for a mountain lion in particular? Now, do you teach Sir 12 how to track down big males if you get an animal in 10 minutes I will scream all right bear with a big scar like red dead yeah scars would be a, a good one um, I do have to say like they sort of did something like that with the albino mission brown bear on medved and it looked all right but it wasn't amazing so thank you Sir 12. Um, yeah, if they're going to do that, they definitely need to maybe work on the the look of like scars and stuff. Great one lion with a special mane. Yet, honestly, you know, some sort of unique fur in general would be good. And then if they could just do like a, a larger mane, maybe like a little darker... I wouldn't hate it if it was generally like a common line with just like a, a really spectacular main. They'll probably make the next great one something that is on the two free maps. Moose would be my guess. You're saying that's on one of the two? 
I guess. Yeah, well, true. Red, red deer and whitetail both. Yeah, you might be on something there. Oh no, floater stream. Only uh, currently an hour 25 of streams in the last couple of days. Ooh boy, it's 847. We gotta pick up the pace here. Hogzilla as a great one? That's a good idea. More drop tines and broken horns. Was it on the 24 hour stream? Or maybe it was Wednesday night as I was trying to kind of learn how to use my two microphone setup for that stream. I shot a whitetail in Classic that had like a triple brow tine thing and it really just put into perspective like what we're missing out on with the lack of stickers in Call of the Wild. Like just the randomness that can happen and yes it can cost you. I've I've lost out on like 100% top 10 leaderboard mule deer because of stickers in Classic but that's at the same time when you do get one that makes leaderboards that you know that doesn't have the stickers it's a perfect rack it it means more I guess. Moose or Fallow is the next one, or my preference, a Predator great one. Fox or Coyote. The Were Coyote, like they could kind of build on that from the mission on Layton, if they wanted. I don't think they should do a mission great one necessarily, but if, if a mission led to... I don't know, may, maybe a mission could just give you a little bit of lore about a great one that can exist or something. Like, I don't think it should just spawn because you did missions, but it would be cool if they gave you some background with it. Great one, Bunny? Definitely. Have 12 ears. Black bear would be cool. So, they don't have any rare black bear. I guess now, technically, cinnamons and, and blondes and brown fur type are rares. But, I think they missed the opportunity to do, like, an albino or a spirit black bear. So they could just jump on that with a great one. Okay, so hear me out. Check Discord if you want to see the cutest elk in existence. Is it? Did you shoot that on stream? I think Kyla showed it to me. That is... I've shot some small... <laughs> some small uh, Rocky Mountain elk, but I don't know if I've got one that little. I had plenty of ones. Great one, Ibex? Hmm. I mean, you would think Bethides are the most impressive. That has to be the direction they'd go in first. How much bigger can they make them? You did? Okay, I saw it when you when you shot it. Kyla showed me. <sighs> you know, minimum weight? Yeah, I don't think I've done that. I'm not sure if I've been below 300 kg, to be completely honest. That's a terrible place. There's a stag. Oh, big meal. Level five. Well, there's a chance I got him. There's also a chance that I hit any of the other red deer that are in there. I don't know. Oh, looks like I, looks like I hit that one. All right, that didn't quite go to plan. Well, where's the stag at then? Pulled some kind of ninja maneuver and just disappeared. It's a five. It's fine. Ask what two weapon packs I should buy, and I'll buy them now. I mean, it depends on what you have, but if you don't have the smoke and barrels in a weapon pack one, I'd probably go that direction. Smoke and barrels has the M1, the 10 gauge, and the muzzleloader. And then the weapon, weapon pack one, recurve and crossbow are, are cool, but it's really all for the 22 LR. That, for rabbits and ducks and geese, that just makes all the difference. Blown away by how much smaller it was compared to the other level ones I've seen. It uh, it's definitely in a class of its own. Speaking of big males, good lord, that's a chunk. Every bit of 90 score. Stop. You're just prolonging the inevitable. There you go. Great one, Flinter. One pound, 12 inches tall. Holy. How many red deer have you killed in your crowd? About 3,500, give or take. Good spot for pheasant? What the? Hi. Um, I mean, there's a lot of good areas for pheasant. The road in the south of Rancho is really good. Most of the roads, if you follow them, you'll actually find a lot of pheasants 
What? Uh. <laughs> Goodness. I thought something bad happened. No. Scared me. <laughs> so yeah, if, if you hunt out in the snow, there's pheasants there too. Mostly, yeah, yeah, like along the roads of Rancho, you can find them just about anywhere. I think, I think they rest near roads often. What gun am I using? I'm using the M1. I probably could use the 300. Kylie uses that a lot for her red deer grind. Um, if you make a poor shot with the 300, the, the stags still die. Whereas the M1, you do have to hit at least like intestines, bring them down, or to to uh, like flesh shots, let's say. But I just like the the semi-automatic aspect of the M1. Speaking of. What do you think about a new uh, semi-automatic weapon? You know, I've, I've struggled with semi-autos in the past. I always felt like there was, um, there were, even back in Classic, a lot of people wanted, like, some kind of semi-auto rifle. They eventually added the 223 semi-auto for Predators, and I was like, yeah, I get that. You know, like, it, you can't hunt deer with it. So it makes sense. Like, it's not going to break the game. When Call of the Wild released the M1, it kind of made me realize that like a semi-auto rifle is not going to break the game, especially if it doesn't have like a 30 round mag. So yeah, I, I think a new semi-auto would be just fine. What we're doing, by the way, is changing the time and switching maps. We passed nine o'clock in game, which is the end of Red Deer drink time. So we're just quickly going to switch maps and switch right back. Respawn Redemption. Any new shows to watch? Oh, Trophy Lodge, what am I doing? We haven't really been watching much of anything different than... We just finished uh, Season 7 of Alone, I think. We're probably going to watch Season 8 at some point. I The last couple of seasons I was watching... Like with my parents because my dad loves it but like at most we're there once a week sometimes not even that so it's kind of hard to keep up with a show when you watch it less than once a week we're like hour-long episodes too so it's you know you can't usually watch say three at a time got a diamond planes by some nice I'm at after school drama club. Don't cause any drama. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> that muskox kill by Roland in season seven alone was crazy. So I had seen the entire season seven about a year ago and I watched it with Kyla and did my absolute best not to spoil anything. And I think I did okay because it didn't seem like she knew who was going to win. But the reminder at the very beginning when Roland is like, licking the blood off his thumb after he killed a red squirrel or something and like eating ants as they're crawling out of a piece of wood that he's burning he realized that he's an absolute madman and he was gonna win that i don't know that he would have i think he would have won even if he didn't kill the muskox but he could have made it for 200 days if he felt like it hour-long episodes are tough yeah i mean it doesn't you know, by the time you get done with all the stuff you gotta do in a day, you sit down, maybe after dinner or something, it's like, alright, I can watch this for an hour. And then once that's done, either I'm losing another hour of sleep and watch another episode, or I'm going to bed. I rarely choose to watch another episode. Sleep is special. What show is this? The show Alone? Um, it's on Netflix, it's on Hulu, it's on Discovery Plus. Great show. Um, Not naked. Eh. Yeah, their there's skill is the most important <laughs> part of that, actually. So they're usually, like, survival instructors. That, like, sort of, uh type of person, maybe I'll call it? I don't know what to describe that as. But they are sent out into areas chosen by the production team of the show. Uh, all the areas are like scouted for a source of water, like a potential source of food. 
And I believe they're randomly drawn as to who gets what. There's a troll rack mythical. Um, and essentially, whoever survives the longest wins. And they're able to take 10 weapons, um, 10 weapons, sorry, 10 items of their choosing, including certain weapons that have been approved by the the production crew again. So like, obviously you can't, one of your 10 items can't be like a 100 day supply of food. That would be goofy. <laughs> um, but like, you can bring a bow, but it has to be like a traditional bow. It can't be a compound. I think, and with that, oh my God, there's a troll nine here too. This is garbage. <laughs> At least we found a nine, I guess. Anyway, hold on, let me, uh, let me dispose of this trash. Take out the trash real quick. Ooh, got that shot in there, nice. Was it a lung though? It was. Good deal, all right. Oh no, don't do it. Oh, you, that's rude. Gone the, the, the troll nines at the river by the bridge, Kylo, and it's gonna float all the way across. Uh, I'll get it eventually. Anyway, back to my thing here. So your 10 items, like a bow and arrows, is included in one item. Uh, often like a fire starter, like a uh, federal rod or something like that. A knife, an axe, like those sorts of things. And whoever, whoever's the last one standing basically wins. Sometimes it, like in one of the seasons, it literally was the guy that just kind of went in carrying the most weight. He just lost a bunch of weight and kind of won by weighting it out. Sometimes it's the guy that kills a muskox like we were talking about. Big troll. Not to spoil it, by the way, but we already spoiled that earlier. Woo, okay. I'm gonna be swimming too. That was epic. How do you know it's a troll nine? That rack quite literally cannot make diamond. Um, so I can I can show you. Well, it's all the way over there. I'll show you on the eight. There's another. Wait, did I not kill this one? Is that the same one? No, that's another troll rack mythical. What the heck? I've gotten so two at one lake plus a troll nine though. Anything in between? The yeah, there's the one troll rack mythic. That's insane. So I basically had the exact same rack red deer. Three of them in one spot. Still think that's a vital hit. Huh? Maybe. Oh, that was a vital. Nice. Shoutouts are kind of cringe. Trash, you say? There's a list of 40 items you can choose from? Oh, okay, I didn't know that you could, uh... I, I guess I knew there was probably a list, but I didn't know how large that list was. My cat can open my door, I am not safe. I'd say so if your cat can figure it out. So that's why you haven't got any diamonds lately. I check here, though. I got This is one of my main spots. What? I told you, the bridge at the end of the river. All the troll rags in the world that you could ever want. I have... what? I have such bad foam that would be the hardest part of me leaving my friends and fam for a long period of time? What does that mean? Am I dumb? What bottom boy said. Fear of massive octopus. I bet that's not it. 2,500 kills and 75 legendaries? I'm at like 3,500 kills and I don't think I have 35 legendaries. Fear of missing out? Ah, I never heard of that. I was like, is that a miss... Miss type typo is the... What? Someone said, what up, little... Little F? <laughs> what do you think this is? Skips. Small. Octopuses are scary. I just watched a video recently of one that was on, like, somebody caught it, I think, while fishing, and they were, it was just laying in the floor of the boat, 
And the way that they move and like escape and then you know the ink trail and everything, they're just they're just weird animals. They're cool, but they are kind of creepy. Octopi. I wouldn't want an octopi. I'll stick with Apple. 239. So yeah, um, somebody asked how to know if you see a rack like this, it never will make diamond. It's not possible. Uh, 240, 242 is about the upper limit of what this rack can reach. They, they'll just look different. And if I had one, I'd show you. But there, there's more tines usually. I guess we'll just go straight down to this spot. Um, Skelet Elvis, thanks for the, uh, renewal, by the way. I appreciate you, man. Good to see you once again. Hope all is well. I know the, uh, membership renewals don't pop up as an alert. I wonder if they'll fix that. Because I don't think that's unique to stream elements. I have no idea, bottom boy. I definitely haven't seen it. <laughs> Uh, I got a 500.2 Rocky Mountain Elk, it's 20 over diamond, is that a rare thing to get? Um, Rockies can get almost up to 520, they often score in the area of 500 actually. I have like, the most deadly sore throat, and I think it's from all the talking I did on the 24 hour stream. Take over. You can. What's up, guys? Killakai12 coming at you live. <laughs> Say your favorite football team for $5. I'm a Steeler fan. I've made that very clear. I already mean, like, soccer football. Uh, Real Madrid, because I know that's a team. I'm good. Got an albino 265 red deer on Xbox. You should post that in Discord. That... At 265, that has to be Big Rack, and therefore not an uneven one, which most even super rare red deer are. So a thick seven over there. Do you have a diamond grizzly? I've got uh, probably five or six of them. I um, I should have gotten another one the other day. If you guys saw on Friday the one, one and a half minute diamond lion video, um, it was basically just like, hey, there's a 24 hour stream happening over on Twitch. If you guys want to watch that, you know, come watch that. That was the whole point of the video. And I was just running around multiplayer. I was looking for something cool to throw in that video. Because that's what I've done in the past. I think I did it with a diamond mountain lion once. I don't remember what the last one was, but anyway, getting sidetracked. I found a legendary grizzly with a huge estimate. I think it was a guaranteed diamond. Um, and I got that glitch where they stand up when you shoot. And... I don't even know if I shot it twice. Like, I, I don't know if I hit it poorly. I was just like, you know what? I don't care. I'm gonna go find something else. The map is Quattro Kalinas. I can, um... Oh, another red deer kill here on Quattro Kalinas. Out here, it's almost a defecating, decimating the population. Don't defecate any populations. That's that's bad for your health. Acid. I will unraid you the other night. Bet you didn't know I could do that, did you? Huh. He's still going. Not the best shot out there. Any diamonds yet? We had <laughs> three troll rack red deer at the same zone just a moment ago. One level nine and two level eights. No diamonds to speak of. That's the first nine I've seen in about 500 kills though, so I'm still <laughs> feeling a little, little better about this grind. Thank you for the super chat, Daniel. Crazy football weekend, that is for sure. Who's your pick to win it all? Dude, I, I mean, I know the Bengals beat the Chiefs already. How do you pick against a team that can go make a game-tying score in 13 seconds? I mean, that was nuts. I remember Drew Brees did it in like 19 one time a couple years ago, and I thought that was unreal. Who did they beat? It was a good team. But, yeah, I mean, it's you can't count them out. You really can't. Go back to the past playoff runs they've had, too. They've done that same kind of thing. Was it like 24 against Houston? They just 
they're an offense that you really cannot keep down forever. The Steelers learned that the hard way in the playoffs. Had them, they had the lead on them at one point. Uh, defense did that, obviously, but even still, ended up getting absolutely smoked in the end. Did I not hit that one? Thought I did. It could be more stags over there than I was aware of. That's definitely a possibility. This is where you should just use the 300, except the fact that I'm not getting all the full scores. Goodness. Alright, he's probably gonna die. I don't know. Where's that at? What did Ormy say? You're replying to Ormy, so I'm wondering what he said. Oh. I'm sad I had to watch the Bills defense choke away the win. I don't even think it was the players themselves. The scheme makes no sense. Like, why... The first play wasn't that big a deal, but why Why is nobody jamming Kelsey? Like, you're just going to let him get a free release when they only need 25 yards or less? Might have been 20 yards. I don't know. He was well into field goal range by the time that play was over. Puppies are necessary. I do agree. The Bengals beat the Titans. They did. Tannehill did not play his best game. That's a rough day to throw three interceptions when defense did pretty well against that high-powered offense. Where the heck is this dag at? Find him, sir, 12. I don't know what's going on anymore. Oh, he knows what's up. Uh, Deacon Nelson, thank you for the super chat. I've killed around 400 animals and I've only gotten one diamond on SRP. Are diamonds that rare or am I poorly managing my zones? I'd actually say you're doing pretty good if you have a diamond within your first 400 kills. I'd say keep doing exactly what you're doing. What's up, Kermit? She used to all the red oh, things. Oh, oh, oh. Red fox are gonna be in trouble. The doge. Okay. Now, it looks like we killed three stags over there, but I don't know how many we shot at. A diamond with the puppy. A diamond puppy? A level 12 diamond puppy? Holy. Just got out of school. What have you gotten today? Trolled. That's what I've gotten today. <laughs> we had a, a, a guaranteed troll rack legendary and two troll rack mythical all at the same zone. I've never seen anything like that. Is that your wife? Not yet. Well, how much longer do you want to stream? Usually I stream for two hours, so about 50 minutes to go. What are your thoughts on the safety blitz on the last drive for the Rams? I think that's a case of Todd Bolt getting too cute with his defensive scheme. Like, why are you going to blitz Stafford when all you got to do is kind of put a lid on things for a little while and probably win the toss in overtime because it's Tom Brady. That's kind of the way it goes. I know a guy who proposed on Valentine's Day. It was me. Yet? Oh yeah. You think we're just living together to see what happens? You wanna live here? There's there's food. <sighs> you can help me clean. It'd be a great symbiotic oh. relationship. <laughs> Who do you wanna win in the AFC championship? I'd love to see uh Joe Burrow go get one, but I <laughs> I do like Andy Reid, and even though he's won a Super Bowl now, he's still lost too. He lost one with the Eagles and obviously the one last year with the Chiefs. It would be cool to kind of see him make it to 500 in Super Bowls and... Yeah, I... This is a weird stance to take, I think. Maybe it's because the Chiefs haven't caused enough heartbreak for me as a Steelers fan yet. But I wouldn't mind seeing Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs become that next dynasty that the Patriots kind of were. Because everybody talks about Tom Brady as the greatest ever, and we're never going to see a run like that again. And meanwhile, meanwhile the uh, Chiefs are quietly looking to make it to three Super Bowls in a row. It's not that I don't, like, that I dislike Brady. I actually, him and Belichick, I've grown to actually enjoy watching a lot more. 
in the last couple of years. But I think it really was that the Patriots probably kept the Steelers from getting a couple more rings in the Roethlisberger era. At least one more. Uh, that it's just like, I, I want someone else to be the GOAT. I, I'll... <laughs> it's a stupid stance to take, I know, but just kind of is what it is. What did that say? Hill I'll die on. I can't scroll my chat today. You gotta live together before you even think about marriage? Well, a lot of people say it should be the other way around. Which does not make any sense to me. Yeah, I mean... When you only... Let's say even if you're... Spending, like, a lot... Say, like, every day together. My brother and his girlfriend just about every single day are together. Whether it's at, like, my parents' house or her parents' house. But it's kind of in those, like... You know, been together for maybe a week straight or two weeks straight or whatever, where like frustrations and stuff can start to show, and you can realize like, oh, this isn't. We're we're just not compatible for this kind of stuff. Like, you need to experience that. Is there any wonder why the divorce rate's like fifty percent? It's knowing good. It's a great relationship, really, for us, because Kyla likes to watch the snow, and then I like to not shovel it. <laughs> 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 oh, my back hurt so bad the other day. <laughs> I can't wait to do it again. What map are you on? I five minutes. Five Corto Cordingas. Isn't that what Didi called it the one time? <laughs> what? I'm pretty sure sure he called it Corto. Didi. Quattro Kalinas. When you got to co-manage finances, that too. Me? Is that what you said? <laughs> you can turn your mic on, by the way. No. Okay. I was gonna say that if they spend money on a big old pile of poop. Shut up! It's a Jurassic Park collection. <laughs> I know, I know. You have a whole collection. I'm engaged to my partner, who I've act only actually been in the same house with for two weeks, even though we've been together since December 2019. I mean, there's also an aspect of when you know, you know. I don't think that necessarily applies to every relationship, though. So when it's like, there's a stigma, let's say, um, like with, I grew up Catholic, and you're not supposed to sleep in the same bed ever until you're married. Like, that's, that's a thing that you're not supposed to do, and it's like, I... <laughs> You learn a lot of things living together for a little while. I don't know if that makes a whole lot of sense, but like I said, there's also the when you know, you know. Like, Kyle and I were talking about, like, way future stuff before we had even actually met. Just kind of when you know. Uh, Deacon, thank you again for the super chat. What would you say is the best animals to hunt for diamonds? Uh, on Silver Peaks, I'm 361 kills in and got one diamond, by the way. Uh... Mountain lions make diamonds a lot if you're just looking to, to get a diamond. Um, let me think. Pronghorn are a good one, mountain goat as well. Silverish Peaks in general is, is a good map for diamonds, so you're definitely... I'm gonna assume that's one of your favorite maps, whatever you've picked a good one to, to find diamonds on. You want the next great one to be Rodier? See, there's actually... They could do a great one, Rodier, and make it look good. Rodier can get considerably larger than they've made the biggest Rodier currently in Call of the Wild. Another stag in there. I need to deal with my poor shooting first, but that kind of comes with the territory of shooting this many stags. A little far back on that one. 150 kills in on PC with three diamonds, not bad. Hey, Aiden, thank you for the super chat. I'm back, how's it going? It's going good, dude. Uh, I haven't quite broken the diamond dry spell. We did have a troll level nine though, which I don't think I've had a nine in that dry spell either, so it's still <laughs> kind of progress. Yeah, we're just running around talking about all kinds of things. Great one, Rodier would be epic and I will die on this hill. 
They have some of the best non-tips in the world. There's gonna be a lot of hill dying today at this rate. Can I die on the hill that we should have a big male rating instead of great one? I wanted to die on a hill, dude. Next great one should be something without antlers, wild boar, or bear. I do agree that like a non-antler species would be a good idea. Dang it, I didn't see that. Wounded red deer coming back to the last second. Where'd he go? Got the hide and seek skills of a absolute champion. Well then, guess I'll look for him in a minute. I am the hill. You're more like a small mound. This is my hill. <laughs> What's up, Mason? Great one, Plains Bison? What would you do with that? Something like the legendary bison in Red Dead, I guess? Did I get the 300 or the 338? Um. If you had the choice, I'd go 300. They're, as far as power goes, basically the exact same. And the 300 has um, the four round capacity, whereas the 338 is just a single shot, so for me, it's a no-brainer. All right, you're on the wrong blood, Sir 12. I wanted you to track this one. Seriously, don't know where it went, is it? Yep. Yeah, you're tracking it. Uh, Cameron, thank you for the super chat. Love the vids, bro. Keep it up. I will definitely uh, do my best. Thank you so much. Great one, raccoon. Be sick. Just a huge female. Huge. Uh, Aiden, thank you again, man. What's your favorite map for Call of the Wild? I like Layton Lakes a lot. Um, I'll always say I enjoy hunting antler species. I like the variety that you get in hunting species with antlers, like, you never know if it's going to be, like, uh, the amount of points can change, I guess, the frame of the antlers can change, there's just so much potential difference you're going to see when hunting them. What alert did I miss? Oh, Cameron's came through twice. I don't know if you super shot it tw twice, but just in case, thank you, man. Easiest time in the game, I will maintain that it's probably with the Zyvex. Mouflon are pretty easy too, yeah. I haven't shot a diamond Mouflon in a while, so it's probably recency bias. Alright, Sir 12, let's find him. I can't believe I haven't found the one that's vitally yet. Weird. First kill the day, got an albino grizzly, and right after a diamond grizzly? You're off to a good start. What do you recommend for grinding elk? It depends which elk species you're grinding. You leaving? Yeah, Alright, good start, Cap. Enjoy. <laughs> I assume she's gonna have the stream on. I'm not sure. But, uh. Hunting equals cold. But no stopping her when there's snow different mindset. Get out there and get those videos. I guess you're not sitting out in this long. A great one, mountain sheep? Mount, mountain goat? Or like, say, Rocky Mountain Bighorn sheep might be where you're kind of going with that. What is your biggest red deer? 267 point something. Do you have kids? No. Not yet, anyway. Uh, Aiden, thank you for the super chat once again. Saw 35 deer in two days in my place. Nice. We've been trying to uh, kind of take an inventory on what we've got here. Um, there's obviously a couple of decent bucks. Um, nothing anywhere near the caliber of the one that uh, I was fortunate enough to take on this property earlier. Well, last year, I guess I can call it at this point. But yeah, I've been trying to kind of figure out where all the deer are. 35, I don't know that we've had 35 unique deer on the cameras in the last couple of weeks. It's been kind of the same one. There's this alien looking spike. There's one, I think two and a half year old, uh, eight. Well, he's a seven. He doesn't have a brow time. 
that's kind of the main one that I've been looking at. What do you mean you don't have kids? I do have to deal with you. Like a child. How do you like your steak cooked? Um, I mean, I... <laughs> Some people think this is crazy, but to me it makes a little difference. Anywhere from medium rare to well done. Like, I, I'm cool with it. Uh, Skibbles, thank you for the super chat. I like your profile pic, by the way. Imagine a great one, moose or elk. And if you could add drop tines to the game, would you? I would. Um, the one thing about drop tines, like, you have them in classic. And they do lower the score. Now, they could... You know, Call of Duty has their own scoring system. They don't go off Boone and Crockett. So they can just be like, yeah, it scores higher because there's a drop time. I get, that's cool with me too. I'm more about gross score. Like, my buck this past year, gross score was 180 and 6.8. Uh, net non-typical, at best, it's going to hit about 170. And if you were to do net typical, it's like 150. Um, you know, obviously gross score is how much antlers there, so that's what I care about. So they could do that way. Um, as for the other half of the question, Great One Moose or Elk, I want both of those things eventually. I think those would be incredible. That steak needs to be medium rare, you're just eating leather? What just happened? Oh, Kyla was like kicking her shoes off, kicking the snow off her shoes. I thought she fell down. Anyway. Master Splinter. Hey. I ain't a rat. Gross score? That sounds nasty. It's gross. I also thought that was weird. The usage of the word gross. I imagine it came first before it was used to mean, like, you know, nasty, but I don't know. Uh, Aiden, thank you again, man. We have a 14 on camera and a bunch of super wide bucks on camps as well. If you look up Brennan Stelly buck on Safari, it's a pick of my cousin with a 165. Oh, nice. 14 point. That's what mine was. Cool. Is it cold out there? I thought you fell when you were kicking your shoes off. Hey, thanks. Thanks for reminding me of my duties. It's supposed to snow tomorrow still too, right? It looks like we've got another inch or two. Wait. Or 12 just cost me a shot. What do you think is the best looking gun in Classic? The best looking gun in Classic. Let me think. I I have a uh, preference for like camouflage guns. I quite like the camo over under shotgun. The camo 30 out 6 is just beautiful. Um, that might be my favorite. I like the model for the 30 out 6 anyway. Just start the red gear grind. What should I set the time to? I do 5 to 9, personally. Hello there. Old stag was hidden in the brush. Ooh, that was too far forward. Rusty out here, goodness. I want them to add a 260 to the game. It's my dad and I's favorite caliber. I'm not too sure I'm familiar with that one. Do you have good mental health? Yeah, I do. I feel good about it, actually. Do you think they would add hippos? I wouldn't be shocked. Um, if they were to do another map set in Africa, um, I, I think... Hippos could potentially be a good, like, main large animal. So you have, like, the Cape Buffalo and kind of the lions, too, on Brahunga. If they did another Africa map and didn't add either one of those species, hippos might be a good one. What state do you live in? Pennsylvania. Hippos better be the most aggressive animal in the game. The old water buffalo aggression, just give them that. Kyla would love it. We should, uh... Every diamond hippo could be called the Great Chonk. Have you played Hunting Simulator 2? Uh, yeah, there's probably like 10 videos on this channel. Maybe more of me playing that. Yep, 
hippos would be amazing. I think they'd be cool. I'd like them. All right. 752. Still got time. Still got time. Where are we going? Uh, we haven't been here on this run. This is kind of the main place, so I'd say we get back to it. Uh, Aiden, thank you again, man. What's your biggest bug and how long ago did you kill it? Mine's a 150.10 that I killed about one and a half years ago. Nice, dude. I have good perspective on how big a 150.10 is, and I'll explain that uh, sort of in my answer, actually. Um, so my biggest buck is the one that I shot this past year. It was a 180 and 6 eighths, uh, grows 14 point. Um, it was a pretty nutty scenario. Basically, I was probably going to hunt at my dad's that day. And I just... Did I get the stag? Yeah, I did. Okay, well, I'm not going to get that one. Um, we checked the, the one camera that we have on this property. And it had just this monster buck on it. So, I ended up going out thinking, like, I had a decent idea based on the trail camera of, uh, video where I thought he was. Stepped out in daylight and I got him there. Um, but he was a mainframe 10, but, uh, basically with four stickers. He would have scored about one, 163, I think, as a typical 10. Like, he'd just pretend the stickers weren't there. And I know that's you, so, like, a 150 10 is awesome. Like, when I look at, the, the one side is a lot better than the other. Um, his G4 on his left side is really nice. When I look at it and just imagine him as a 10, like, when you get a 10 point in that 150 or 160 class range, they're just huge deer. What's up, Grady? Xander's in here as well. I have tracked this turkey for almost a kilometer and it finally died. Oh my god, what'd you shoot it with? Or are you telling me you tracked it and then shot it and that's how it died? Because if you hit it and it ran for a kilometer? Is that like a 22H polymer toe shot perhaps? Should I use the 4 to 8 scope or 1 to 4? Uh, I use the 8 to 16, but most people in, in the community I find use the 4 to 8, so obviously that's a a good choice too. Is hunting simulator worth the time? If you can get it like on sale, I I'd say it's a fun enough game to be worth the price, but the animal models are lacking so much in comparison even to classic, which is 12 years old. It's hard to really get into that game. Like the player model's good, the dog model's good. If you shoot the animals at a distance and you don't really <laughs> whoops and you don't really notice um, what they look like or the fact they look like they're from a game made in about 2005 it's fine but yeah that, it's the one place they've slacked and I really like I'm not trying to talk bad about them I think they have sponsorships from some clothing uh, companies like oh, Cryptic is one of them Cryptek I don't know how to say it uh, and they have some firearm sponsors, and I believe they spent most of their time and resources on making those models look good, and they did a good job. But you have to have realistic animals in a hunting game to really get immersed, I think. Can't handle the sway of the Argus on the... Argus? Argus on console? I don't know if I've ever used the Argus on console, to be honest. That looks awfully stag-like to me. I guess it wasn't. Thanks, Sir12. You're doing great. Proud of you. Just dropped a massive level 6 red deer. Not too bad. Now let's uh, set our waypoint correctly this time so we don't have to do this twice. Tips on the coyote missions on Late Lakes. Some of them can be really annoying. Uh, Sometimes, like some, the missions are, were made five years ago. You gotta remember that. They are, like a lot of times the coyotes don't spawn in the areas where the missions require you to get them. So I would say, you know, one good method is to spook them and chase them and then shoot them. Like if you need a, a specific weapon or to shoot them in a specific area. The other thing I would say to do is maybe try to call them. Like if you have one this close, if you can just kind of call it across the, uh, you know, the borderline area. That that might help you, but I, I know when I did on my struggle and I had done some of the ones that were 
a bit of a pain to a lot of people already, like when they were still in the right area. I don't know if I thanked you, Colton, for that super chat. I was kind of saying other things, so I appreciate you, man. I'll use the Argus on the 22LR. Especially for flying ducks when they get far away is definitely a, a good choice. Got a Melon Stick Whitetail that scored 243. Very nice. What's that? A rock deer, my favorite type of deer. Is there a video coming out for the Bucky Shot? There is. Um, I think I have most of the information I have. I've been... The 24-hour stream was occupying so much of my time. Um, trying to make sure I got all that done and with the microphone set up and stuff. But anyway... I've been talking to TK here and there where I can. Um, I'm going to have a video coming out, hopefully pretty soon, kind of explaining like why there's been no video of the buck yet and when that video is going to come out. And hopefully that can uh, help to answer questions. I I've told the story on stream a bunch and I don't want to repeat myself too much. Uh, Carter, thank you for the super chat as well. Need to watch the image vids TK posted. They look interesting. Yeah, they're pretty good. Do you hunt in real life? I do. Wait, where the heck did you come from? Ah, why did that happen? I didn't appreciate that at all. I tried to scroll to zoom in my scope, I guess, a little bit too early and it switched my weapon. How did you feel mentally and physically after the 24 hour stream? Um, physically, I was pretty worn out. That was the first time that I. So, like, the stream started at 8 p.m. We intentionally slept in until like 11.30 or something that day. And I mean, that still requires you to be up for 32 hours or so to complete that stream. So that was a lot physically. Mentally, I felt pretty good. I think I was well beyond that wall of like exhaustion by then. So I was kind of just like elated to be done. But we basically made dinner. I, I would say by the time my head hit the pillow, I was asleep in about two minutes once I got in bed. Do you feel good today? I'm gonna sore throat, but I think that's due to all the talking on the 24-hour stream. Powering through, making it happen. I also uh, recorded tomorrow's video already, so definitely didn't get to rest my voice as much as I would have liked. Just now I shot a level nine Puma max trophy score and it was a goal. Are you telling me it was 40 trophy score and a gold, or are you telling me that it was max estimate and didn't make 39? Because 39 is diamond. I missed your 24 hour stream. It's hard to, like, I, I did my best to try to get it out there. Like it was going to be the weekend of the 21st, but and th this isn't meant to be like a negative thing. But so Aaron, which I think you know, Aaron, um, he's been there for the last well, he had been there for the previous two 24-hour streams, and I was a part of his one. I think he only did one. Um, so we've always, like, when there's been 24-hour streams that either of us did, we were there for the whole thing for each other. So he he wanted to be a part of this one, obviously, too. And in order to make that happen, we had to start late, but we also, like, weren't sure exactly when we were going to be able to do it until only a couple of days before, so that made it difficult to publicize it. Well, if it isn't... Billy, Billy the artist. What's going on? You just wake up after the 24 hour stream? I wouldn't blame you. Oh, wait, you got a nap. Never mind. <laughs> what, bottom boy? Yikes. Snow just keeps coming down. It's snowing pretty good here. I don't know what the temperature is because my dumb weather thing, 26, I guess, was just saying snow off and on. Especially as the sun's going to be pretty well out of the picture here for a while. It's, it's probably going to really start to accumulate. Wow. Billy Wilson. Got a level 5 diamond pronghorn. Nice. Did you watch the NFL this weekend? I watched every game other than pretty much all the Packers 49ers game because that was after my 24-hour stream and I just basically died. Um, that made me sad. I really wanted... Rodgers to at least beat the 49ers. Now, here's the thing, right? There's a bunch of talk about maybe Rodgers wants to play for Tomlin. There's that old goofy uh, exchange where 
Rodgers tried to catch the Steelers with 12 men on the field. Tomlin caught a timeout, and it was like a it was like a mutual respect thing. Like if you if you watch the Pat McAfee show, they or no, it was on the Manning cast. I think it might be on the Pat McAfee show too. But they showed a clip of like both of them kind of you know just looking at each other and mutual respect for Rodgers trying to do it and Tomlin being on top of it to snuff it out. But anyway, there's a bunch of talk about Rodgers going to Pittsburgh and maybe, just maybe, because they didn't even win a playoff game this year, he could just be like, you know what? I'm out of here. I'm going to play for Coach T. And I'd, I'd, I'd be quite a fan of that. I like Rodgers. So sad about the Packers losing. It wasn't his fault. You know, the, the special teams absolutely imploded. Blocked field goal at the end of the first half. That's already a tie game because they lost by three. Um, the only touchdown the 49ers scored was a block punt. I mean, what do you do? When your defense only allows, well, say 13 points even with the, the block punt, you probably should win the game, but it wasn't like he went out and lost the game. The special teams kind of just failed at the wrong time. Uh, the Soggy Serial, thank you for the super chat. Got my first time in today. Your vids helped a lot. That's awesome, man. Glad the videos were helpful to you as well. I feel like I'm not making the hard shots I used to make. Snow brings me true happiness. It is a pretty place to get to watch the snow with the creek and everything. If the Steelers get Raji, Jazzy will be insufferable. I couldn't handle it. I... Here's the thing. The Steelers don't generally look for short-term solutions. They're generally long-term oriented. Like, you look at even the Minka Fitzpatrick signing. People are like, oh, they traded a first-round pick. Well, yeah, he was like 22 or something. Um, it was basically just like a hit on their first-round pick. Like, it's fine. Uh, so I, I don't expect them to sign Rodgers, but then again, they are built to win right now. They have, I'm going to say a top five kicker, borderline top five. Um, obviously, their defense is good. Their run defense didn't look good, but they also didn't have their two big run stoppers in the middle, so I, I don't put as much credence, is that the right word, into the fact that they weren't a good run stopping defense this year. And they have weapons on offense. I mean, Claypool, despite his one dumb play there in Minnesota, is pretty good. If Deontay can catch... Um, I still think James Washington's not bad. I don't know if Juju's staying around or not. Like, there's plenty of targets to throw the ball to, plus Najee Harris. Like, they, they have a lot to win with right now with a quarterback that can make some stuff happen. And you know Rodgers isn't going to throw picks. Minus ones that maybe bounce off Deontay Johnson's hands if he actually comes to Pittsburgh. Good Lord. That guy may be sad. Who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl? The Niners are going to be tough to beat. Um... But Patrick Mahomes has already done it once. So I'm still kind of betting on the Chiefs. What? 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 <laughs> what do you think about better animations? It is the better word, I promise. Or interactions when animals attack? It's tough to do a lot with those animations because you're going to end up with a bunch of repetitive animations like I go back to a game like some of the Cabela's Dangerous Hunts um, those games the first couple of time, times animals attack you it's like whoa this is so realistic and then when they all jump on you the same way after 40 attacks you're like okay I just gotta press A here and now I shot it cool like that's where I'm it's difficult to make really realistic animations because how many different animations can you make I guess if they can do something that's realistic and also varied that would definitely be good I mean something better than just strictly running into you would be a good start what are you sharing what are you sharing we're not sharing you left there to get the snow out of yourself exactly <laughs> I'm a Chiefs fan and I'm biased, but the Rams and Niners is very good. I'd actually like the Rams to win. I've always been more of the opinion that Stafford is... 
actually pretty darn good and never really got a chance to shine in Detroit. I mean, he, he brought the Lions to the playoffs. I think twice. They didn't win, but that in and of itself was a pretty impressive feat, I thought. So for him to get like a ring would be, I think, a lot of validation for him. He's got that whole like stat pad for nickname because he's got good counting stats, but obviously he never won anything. But again, like how are you supposed to in Detroit? No, no one else ever has other than maybe in the 50s. Remember Cabela's Hunts on the Wii? I played a lot of hunting games on the Wii. A lot of dangerous hunts and big game hunters and... Ah, there was some North American something that I really liked. It was kind of called the Wild Esque, actually, oddly enough. Favorite college football team minus Penn State? I'm not... My, Penn State wouldn't even be my number one. It's honestly Georgia because that's Kyla's team and like I don't watch college football so when they were playing games I'd keep track of their score and watch their games I was watching I think it was the game that they lost to Alabama earlier in the year but it was really really cold out and I was sitting in a tree stand watching that game that was in the rifle season right because that one doe came out at the back of the field and I put the, put the game away I was invested alright I like the Cabela's Wii game. I know I beat at least one, maybe two. I remember immense frustration because the Wii remotes were, I mean, obviously the technology was kind of ahead of its time in a way, but they were never, never quite right as far as like syncing up for being aimed at the TV and stuff. There, there was always some strugs there. Penn State's better than Georgia. Okay, Jerry. The 82 National Championship proves that. Wasn't that the last time that Georgia won it too was right around there? Or did Penn State beat Georgia in the 82 National Championship? I don't know. Georgia's last win had been like 40 years ago though. Maybe they won in 81. Do you think Tom Brady threw a really bad pass? Do I think, what do you mean? I'm sure he probably threw a bad one, but he also threw plenty of good ones to get them back in that game. What is the next great one you want to see? Uh, Mule Deer, I think, will be awesome. I've said this before. I'm of the opinion that if there's any species in, in the real world that wouldn't need to be exaggerated to make an incredible great one, it is Mule Deer. Like, you look at some of the trophy mule deer, they, I mean, they're just stunning. Like, they could take the... Like, they could replicate real, you know, record book mule deer, change them up, do whatever you gotta do. Obviously, like, you can't, or you probably shouldn't just copy record book mule deer, but they could take maybe, like, three of them and combine different characteristics of the racks. Like, they don't need to exaggerate them. I feel like the, the big rack whitetail is exaggerated a lot. That wouldn't need to be done with Mule Deer. Penn State beat Georgia 27-23 in the 82 National Championship. Ah, uh, yes, you are a Dolphins fan. The Dolphins are good because they won the Super Bowl 50 years ago. It all makes sense. Do you watch soccer? I don't think I've ever watched a soccer match to completion in my life. I've watched bits and pieces of it um this probably isn't unique but the college that i went to uh they often would have soccer matches on in like the cafeteria and i, I worked there so i would see them there hey that's the cowboys argument too it's every team that's not the patriots basically they've won everything in the last 20 years steelers haven't won one in uh, 14 years Trying to think, if we went with the Falcons, oh god, have they ever? No. They've been to two. They should have won one. They had no business being there against the, the Elway-led Broncos, though. That was not close. Hello. Alright, one more time reset. What do we got? Like, 15 minutes. Making coffee. 5 p.m. coffee. 
Nice. 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 Nothing like, whoa. Nothing like a little caffeine. I'm guessing you're a Steelers fan. That would be correct. Okay, map switch real quick to get respawn seven. 512 probably was a little too early, but it's fine. College is for nerds. I agree, that's why I dropped out. And that's the only reason I'm still glad to be a Giants fan. We have rings that aren't just ancient. Yeah, I mean, they're getting up there. Medicare assist is calling me again. I didn't realize I was that old. Anyway, they're getting up there in age too, but at least they're within the millennia. If it wasn't for Eli Manning and Nick Foles, the last 20 years would just have been literally the most boring two, decade, two decades of football because literally every other year, on average, Brady 101, another ring. It's still close to that. Hey, thank you, Corpse. Appreciate you. I meant to say, do you think Tom Brady was making good passes? I'm sure he made some good ones. I don't remember many of his throws because it was mostly him getting sacked and then the Rams screwing up and giving them all back. In more ways than one. I guess my favorite team, it's impossible. All right, let me think. Titans logo. FC South. The Jags. How'd I do? And people like the trash Eli and call him the other brother. You know, you look at his stats, he, he really was not nearly like the efficient passer, I guess, that, you know, your Peyton Mannings and Drew Brees and Aaron Rodgers were. But that might actually say more about how clutch he was to make those two playoff runs when he wasn't, you know, there was probably no time in his career where he was considered... Maybe he was like a top 10 being number 9 or 10. Minus that, there was probably no point where he was even top 10. And still, to go through and be the Favre-led Packers, the Rodgers-led Packers, Brady in the Super Bowl twice, once when he was undefeated at the time. Uh, I'm trying to think of some of the other victories they had. Like, the, You have to appreciate, and I know the defense did a lot, but the clutch gene was thick in Eli Manning. Still is, too. He's... So funny on the main and cast. He just smokes Peyton at every chance he gets. And Tom Brady. Every time they have Brady on there, or the one time that they did. It's like, yeah, I enjoyed all of our matchups. Can you play Call of the Wild on mobile? Not Call of the Wild, but there is a The Hunter mobile game. So many good young quarterbacks. Yeah, I wonder if, um... If we are just in, like, a new era of football where young quarterbacks are just going to be insanely good and there's going to be more of that because you look back you know the in my opinion the era that's just kind of ending is the Roethlisberger Brady Rodgers um Manning Rivers like you only had I don't know maybe eight good quarterbacks at any given time and most of them were five, six years in the league till they were really good. I mean, Roethlisberger won both of his rings before he was six years in the league, but he wasn't, he was starting to get good in that 08 one. Um, now you've got like Herbert, Burrow, Mahomes, Allen. Um, that's just AFC. And Lamar Jackson definitely could be in that category depending on your opinion of the quarterback position. I tend to think that you have to be a more talented thrower to be considered an elite quarterback, but every time he throws a slant route to a wide open guy, the media goes nuts. You think Brady will retire? I was watching some stuff on that today. I doubt it. Um, he said he's going to play till 45 for like the last 15 years. I can't imagine he would just pull up one, uh, one year short of that goal, but I don't know. He... You take enough hits and stuff. Season's even longer now. 17 games. Is it worth it for a whole nother year? Guess it depends on how he looks at it. Happy to like the Chiefs or bandwagons. I I only like the Chiefs because Andy Reid's there. I never cared. I mean, Larry Johnson was kind of fun and Priest Holmes to watch them play. Um, I never cared either way for the Chiefs. I didn't dislike them or like them. Um, Hank Stram, those old clips are fantastic as well. 
run around like a Chinese fire drill, but, um, I liked Andy Reid in Philly. I didn't really think he got a fair shake from the Philly fans. They're just ruthless. Um, so it, it's cool to see him win in, in KC. Did someone say something about Ultimate Hunting taking down Call of the Wild again? Yeah, until I see some in-game footage, I'm a little skeptical on that. I ain't talking about you, though. No, I know. I was just... I, uh... I think some... Uh... Call it bandwagon fans actually are Andy Reid fans. There's a couple of coaches that are like that. If Mike Tomlin ever went and coached, like... I don't know, let's say he went back to the Vikings. He was a part of their organization, I think, when he was hired uh, to be the Steelers head coach. If he became the Vikings' new head coach, I'd be a Viking fan. I like I like Tomlin. Um, Arians I've generally always liked. I don't know, he kind of... I don't know what it is, but in Tampa he just changed a bit. I don't like that. It's not that I dislike him anymore. But it's a different vibe than when he won the coach of the year in Indy. Mike Tomlin needs to come to Miami. No, you guys don't need to get a good thing and fire him again. Now you get more Adam cases and who was that guy that took him to the playoffs, I think? Or no, almost the playoffs, maybe? Oh, I'll think of it. 2008-ish. Can't I think of his name? He's a slightly bigger guy. I think the Steelers beat the Dolphins this the year that he coached them. He went ten and six, and the Steelers should have lost. Like they fumbled, but the refs, for some dumb reason, ruled that there was no obvious recovery, clear recovery of the Dolphins, even though there was. I've accepted that the Cowboys are probably losing both coordinators, and I don't know what that'll look like next season. Chris Sims says that uh, Kellen Moore is not all that good. I don't know. Chris Sims says a lot of goofy stuff. I'm waiting for Asta to tell me what the name of that coach was. I think it starts with an S. Bill O'Brien, worst coach ever. Uh, he could do a lot worse. He's a bit of a um, not-so-nice fellow, but there's been some pretty not good ones. Favorite team not including the Steelers? I've come to root for teams like the Falcons and the Colts because like I know people who also root for them so it just kind of comes down to that. My favorite team that's not the Steelers. Hmm. It might be the Niners because they play a little bit of like an old Steelers type game plan where it's, you know, run the ball, play good defense, and Kyle Shanahan's run game is nuts. Starts with an S, gotta be Stan Potts? Yeah, Stan Potts, that was him. That could be bottom boy. Tony Sopr Sp Sp Soprano. Sperano? That That's who it was, thank you. Tony Soprano was probably in there too. If the Steelers aren't playing, I'm a Chiefs fan. Ooh, that might have been an interesting uh, wild card weekend then. Uh, Dfish, thank you for the super chat. Also, a Steelers fan, even though I live in Montana. <laughs> Who am I supposed to root for? Anyway, do you think Aaron and Adams go together wherever that is? I wouldn't be shocked. Um, there's been very few duos more prolific than the two of them. But also, can you imagine the cap hit? Like, you're, Rogers is probably in the area of 40 mil. Maybe you can get them a little cheaper just because they're asking to go together. Devonta Adams is going to be 20 mil. Like, not a lot of teams can take that on. That coffee smells fantastic. Uh-oh. My favorite team is whoever beats Brady. I, my Twitter handle in like 2018 when the Rams played the Pats was a uh, Rams fan for a day and that didn't go well. Chiefs are losing their OC this year. He'll be getting a head coach job, and I'm curious what it'll look like next year. They've been saying that for a couple years, though. I think everybody kind of knows that Andy Reid calls the plays, and 
Eric B. Enemy is kind of like coordinating personnel and stuff like that. I think they're a good duo, but people act like it's a shock that Eric B. Enemy never gets hired. I, I just think he's Andy Reid's, you know, he's playing second fiddle to him. Andy Reid's always been uh, calling plays, as far as I'm aware. Depending on the Dolphins, uh, they should not have fired Brian Flores. You think we'll ever get a 308 in Call of the Wild? Almost definitely. Um, I can't imagine that we'll go much longer without seeing one. It's a popular caliber. It's in classic, so you would think it would eventually migrate to Call of the Wild. I just, I see no way that it doesn't eventually end up in Call of the Wild, too. I just saw a Pizza Hut ad, and now I want a fat stuffed crust. I just have to not look at those ads too closely. I'm gonna get my gluten-free pizza out of the freezer and throw it in the oven. Gotta do a 45-70 hunt for 457k? That could kinda work. Somebody in my comments keeps asking me if they should buy the 3070. I don't know if they have the two guns confused or what's going on. Oh boy, who do you think the Vikings will hire as GM and head coach? I'm not even sure what candidates there are. The Vikings have a good roster. Probably a better offensive coach. Maybe be enemy, but I don't think that's too likely. I don't think it's going to be Kellen Moore. Maybe like the Packers OC or somebody like that. How could I forget so rude? The pizza list life is a hard one. Are you going to come back to West Virginia for another hunt? I certainly hope to. Kyla wants to buy the land for sale next to where we were. Is that why you want to buy the land? Just to be within 20 minutes of Bob Evans? It all makes sense. Just to get them delicious taties. Which you read, dude. Okay, that got along. I was gonna say, Vikings remind me of the Cowboys. They have talent. It's just a culture thing or something. It might be a Kirk Cousins thing too. <laughs> me and Aaron were. So there's a picture of the Washington football team's um, coaching staff, I guess, coordinating staff. Let's call it from 2012 or 2013. It was Kyle Shanahan was the OC. Now that's obvious because Mike Shanahan was um, their head coach at one point. Matt LaFleur was the quarterback's coach, I think. And Sean McVay was the tight ends coach. <laughs> Aaron goes, no wonder Kirk Cousins like that. I mean, that's a heck of a staff. All, all those guys are head coaches now, and good ones. Kind of amazing they didn't win more. Could have been Cousins' fault, but Kirk Cousins actually was good. In Washington, they they just wanted rid of him. Like the front office made sure he had no weapons, and he still was thrown for like 4,500 yards. Liking that all over the field. Only new thing I want from the game is to play it without need zones, and they roam around like classic. I mean, the the need zones do kind of push you to explore the map more than you may otherwise. Like, there's areas of maps in Classic that I just don't go to, because I don't need to. <laughs> the big mail could be anywhere. Whereas, you know, I, I gotta check all my legs for a great one, because maybe it's spawned down here and it ain't going anywhere else. Um, but yeah, it's more realistic where they don't have zones, to be honest. I saw the double barrel 10 gauge at my local gun shop that I wanted, but I couldn't justify the price tag. That happens to me often on guns. I need a new turkey gun though. I'm going, like, I don't care. I'm planning on getting multiple turkey guns in different states in this year. I have to spend some money on a new turkey gun because mine has just been unreliable and inaccurate and weird. And I know that sounds <laughs> strange for a shotgun, but I promise it's real. It just, whatever the deal is. It, it does not have a consistent spread, is not consistently 
accurate, and for a shotgun, that that's that's bad news. I mean, if you can't hit a target at 20 yards with a shotgun, there's something wrong there. And I've messed with the, the sights. I don't know what the deal is, but uh, that I mean, that's been like a 10-year battle I've had with that gun. I've killed a turkey with it, even despite the drugs, but I'm gonna get something new just to have more confidence. That's the other thing too. When you have a gun like that that you struggle with, at some point when your confidence decides it's the gun's fault, good luck hitting anything with it because <laughs> the confidence aspect of it's gonna make it worse. It's already 5 p.m. I know I wanted the fast travel with this one leg that I knew there'd be stags and wrap up. This one went by quick. It may well be because we just did 24 and this feels like nothing. I feel like that usually happens after 24 hour streams actually, but just red deer grinding, talking football and turkey hunting and relationships. What a time. I thought his voice was auto-tuned, sounds so smooth. A lot of people think I use some kind of like software to make my voice sound deeper or to make it sound different. Like if you watch the 24 hour stream, I'm gonna have to almost have like a disclaimer at the beginning of that. You'll notice like my voice is a little quieter and a lot of people are like, you sound so tired, you're only three hours in, but I was just like, taking a chill so I wouldn't kill my voice because I, I do talk a little louder on like a normal video or like a normal stream because I can handle talking louder for two hours it's it's almost like let's say you're talking on the phone for a professional reason you'll probably talk like a little bit different it's basically just that uh, but yeah I don't use anything just just a uh, blue yeti microphone anyway all kinds of subjects tonight indeed and on that note, despite the fact that we were unable to get a Diamond Red Deer yet again, at least we got the troll, and the sadness of seeing three troll racks in one spot. Maybe at least getting a troll nine will kind of shake out the respawn a little bit enough to get a diamond in here. So yeah, as always guys, thanks for watching, thanks for hanging out, thanks for all the support today, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye!